Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. And tonight we're going to be making blueberry lemon, blueberry lemon, nice cream. So what do we have first? Measured out two cups of well, these blueberries have been frozen. They're still a little frozen, but I measured out. It's a little over two cups. We had, were these fresh initially? They were, and they're organic. These are the ones we got from Chris or no? Yes. Okay, so yeah, we have a buddy, Chris, who's got a farm, a family farm here local that has um, really good blueberries. These are big, fat, and when they're in season, we both bought a lot yeah. of blueberries. I, I only did like 10 pounds, but you did like 15 at a time. So. Yeah. Okay, and we have like uh, about a tablespoon, maybe a little more. If you like, I can measure it now. I'll just say a little over a tablespoon of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, and that we're going to put in there. And then we're going to add a half teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. I don't have my glasses on, but I think I can do this anyway. And we're going to put in Although these were very sweet blueberries when they were fresh, when they're frozen, they're not going to be as sweet. And the lemon juice. Um, definitely not sweet. Definitely not. So Although we bought these little berries. Oh, yeah. Those dried berries that make everything sour taste sweet. They're called miracle berries. And they are a miracle. We tried them. They were really crazy. Very cool. Yeah, we were drinking like straight up lemon water, just lemon juice and water, and it tasted like lemonade. Very it sweet It was really lemonade. good. It was really good, even though it was lemon water. So yeah, two tablespoons of raw organic blue agave, agave sweetener. And now we're going to do dates. What did you say, four? I did four dates today. Um, are these the these are the, miniature? the smaller ones. <laughs> so They're... mom and I both bought 11 pounds of... Medjool dates on eBay for the best price I've ever seen Medjool dates for. It was like $36. $36. 36 shipped That's to it. your door 11 pounds of delicious, perfect Medjool dates. The only bad part is they're not pitted and they're small, very small. So like two regular, there are two of these smaller ones I think equals one. I don't know about you, but I was holding up like a regular size Medjool date and looking at because I pitted a bunch today for to soak for my smoothies and they were so tiny. Really? Well, yeah. still they're 11 pounds. I know so. it's by weight. I mean, it's still a heck of a deal. I'm not mad about it. It's just like they showed up and I'm thinking these are not the standard Medjool dates. No wonder they're now so talk cheap. about our measuring thing. Okay. So we have uh, to make this nice cream, there's two kitchen tools we're using. We're using a high speed blender, which you could use any kind. We like the Vitamix and we like this smaller pitcher, normal pitcher that comes with the Vitamix, 64 ounces. This is 32. It's $144. It's worth every penny. There's a link in the description. Upgrade to it. Mom uses it almost exclusively. It's better for dressings because it's a smaller batch pitcher size. It's better for pretty much everything unless you're making massive smoothies every day like I do. But we have it marked at a two cup line. It just helps us to get this measured perfectly. So when we make it, and we pour it into the container that corresponds with this other, the only other kitchen tool you need to buy, which is a Ninja Creamy Breeze, link in the description below, very good investment. But you fill it up to what's called the fill line. Is it a pint? It's one pint. Yes, it's a pint. Which is what, two cups? Two is cups. That right? Okay. So this is, what kind of milk is this? Cashew milk. We were gonna, we like to say raw cashew milk, but that's a... Um, Where's the measuring thing? Already stop, stop, stop. Except the stuff is over. Oh, okay. So what's we'll just stop there. When something is um a pair or a, what's it called? It's not raw. We call it raw cashew, but that's an oxymoron, right? Is that what it's called? When you have yes. Okay. So raw okay. cashew milk is apparently an oxymoron because technically it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Learn something new. Okay. So now we have the lid on. We're gonna go to the. What do you call it? The auxiliary kitchen? Yes. The laundry, Sounds way better laundry, than laundry room, room. But it's also the auxiliary kitchen. Yeah. Because I don't have a lot of counter space in the real kitchen, so. No. And I always start off slow. Oh. 
sounds like it had a lot. Sounds pit like in there. there's a pit for sure. Yeah. I didn't. I don't think I took I them all out. Never think so either. But I've done that before. Have you? Oh yeah. I hope I didn't hurt my blender. Well, we should. Pro I think we should probably strain it. Do you have like a not a fine mesh strainer, but just in case, because I'd hate to put it in the um, Ninja Creamy and ruin it. So how do we? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> That would ruin so it. So let's strain through uh, to strain this. something like this. That might do it. Yeah, because the pit's not going to go through that, is it? Okay, no. I'll it's pour that. Unless I then, ground it up. Oh, yeah. unless. But then we'll probably still be able to see parts and pieces of it to where. Okay, let's check here. A little improv. I mean, if you're do if you're doing this with any regularity, and by this I mean using dates in a Vitamix, it's just a matter of time before this is going to happen to you. So this is a good thing to know how to do. I see something. Oh, I do too. Yep. A couple little chunkaroos with those small dates. See it? Yeah. Or it could be a seed that we forgot to get out of the blueberries. I'm just kidding. Um, I think we should do another strainer do you have um i have one at my house the I have, white one i have strainers because what do you think because i would i bet there's yeah little pieces i don't that, want yeah there's a bunch of little chunks it's a pit i it's think it's definitely just, a pit it got it obliterated is. but not to the point of okay it's no big deal so we'll okay, just run it there's, through a, i'll get one it's we're under. almost but i'll just dump this back in here okay because i bet you there's little tiny pieces uh oh it's never a, never done that before no big deal See, we could edit this out and pretend like we're perfect, but you gotta edit this part out. We're not. Oh my gosh, this is so fancy. I gotta show you the new faucet mom got. This thing's crazy. I'm trying to reach this other strainer. While mom's doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this new faucet she got. It's super, super fancy. Okay, let's turn the lights down low. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Wow. Now that is fan Does it do other colors or just green? No, it does other colors. How do you, you have to program it to do other oh, yeah, colors or turn what? turn this on. No, it, okay. it's uh, cold water is blue. Oh, wow. It just takes a minute. There we go. Wow. And then the warmer water is green. Okay. And then, and then hot the hot water is red. That is so fancy. Look what they're doing nowadays, guys. Look what they're doing. See, we should turn red. We should, you know what? Link in the description if you want one of these. We'll talk to Tanner and get you one. Um, these are homegrown maters, by the way. And yeah. we're going to be making some salsa. Well, by we, I mean my mom. Is this too? Um... No, that's perfect. Okay. We, what I like to do when I'm straining like that, though, is, is I, scrape it, right? Well, you can scrape. What I like to do is a wire whisk. Oh, I don't when have. A, you don't have a wire whisk. Wire when I have a. Or whatever one. I mean, do you, is it over here? It's in the drawer. This one. No, the big one. Down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just put yeah, it in there. Yeah, this might not work. You could try. Let's try both. I mean, I got the wire one because it kind of goes against the screen, and provides a better. Um, yeah, but when I'm making juice and I strain my juice, oh yeah, I'm already seeing chunks that are Me in the too. picture. Might be blueberry skin. <laughs> True. Although a lot of that you can see the little specks of dark blue. In I don't there. mind doing this anyway for the ice cream. So. Who knows? Maybe we maybe this will be a game changing um, new okay keep going step that we can implement. Well. Almost done. This is working out pretty well. Maybe one of them had uh, two pits. <laughs> I think it was the blueberry seeds. Oh, no. They're not that hard. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn the light back on. We're in the dark. Oh, yeah. All right, that's the end of that. Let me turn the light back on. All right, there we go. Uh oh, splashing it out the side. All messy. I I, I have 
with been in the kitchen today and everything I do I make such a mess yeah it's just crazy look at all that stuff oh my goodness there's a lot in there anyway did you now um, there's not forget to pit any of the dates maybe or I all did. of the dates I I did pit the dates you but... sure because that's a lot of pits or let's, blueberry seeds let's I don't know. do this okay clean this up a little bit before we put it in the freezer just because it makes it really hard to get the lid off for me yeah if i have a bunch of the trick on that is running it under the hot water for a couple minutes or just letting it sit out for about five minutes before you put it in the put it in the machine to turn it into the nice cream i don't think we need to label this one it's pretty obvious it is pretty for sure Misnomer. Okay. Is that what it means? Rock cashew is a misnomer. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, that's it. All right. All right. There we go. No, that's it. That's it. All right. All right. 24 now, hours later. <laughs> now it's frozen. We're just going to shave down the, the bump here. Mom and I are both looking forward to trying this one. pretty it is it almost reminds me of like a beet yeah it's got that same really dark deep red color it shaves down pretty easily that, yeah it does that's a sign of uh either it's not as frozen because there's either high fat or high sugar oh okay i didn't know that i mean it doesn't freeze as hard if it's got fiber or makes sense or fat or sugar Okay. Or a combination of those. Is it tart? It is. It's good though. And sweet. I can't remember what all went in here. Lemon. I like a tablespoon of lemon. Okay. Two cups of blueberries. Um, dates. <clears throat> excuse me. And um, some coconut. I mean cashew milk. And vanilla. taste this and see if it needs a little bit sweetening or anything. I don't know if it looks like it needs to be respun or not. Well, that is good. Mm -hmm. Really good. You want it like it is? Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yep. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> Look what I got you. Yum. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Come try a bite. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You got lemon juice, blueberry, dates, and a little vanilla. 